All right. Good morning. Good morning. So it is about seven in the morning. Um, Stuart last night was actually up all night. He was. Uh, I went to bed around two. He went to go back to the grandstands to watch the race. Uh, around six, he started to walk back, and I am awoken at six in the morning by the lovely sound of Stuart banging on the passenger door. Apparently, the, at some point. I thought I had unlocked it, but I guess it maybe auto relocked. And it's raining, and now everything is wet, including the track. Uh, so I have the Cafe 24 Breakfast Garage pass. Uh, Stuart's back in the passenger seat sleeping uh, and warming back up. So uh, the rain's getting worse. All right, I'll see you guys at the Breakfast Garage. All right, so it's a bit cold, it's a bit wet. But I, I have made it. Uh, so now to find the garage. Hold on a second. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty wet. All right, so we've got about uh, six hours and 41 minutes left. Right now the race is red flag because of the weather. Um, I guess because of, it's a super speedway and the cars are going very fast, uh, they don't want to risk any accidents in the rain. Uh, the other thing is that uh, I'm an idiot. The Cafe 24 Breakfast Garage uh, is not in the grandstand, in a grandstand suite as I thought it was. It's actually in the, well, garage. That's why it's called the Cafe 24 Breakfast Garage. So I have to go all the way around and find my way back into the infield. Whatever. All right. Well, looks nice. What do we got? So this is the Cafe 24 Breakfast Garage. I do. A muffin. Cinnamon roll, why not? Sure, okay. Yep. Sausage and bacon. Wet. A little wet. A little wet, huh? I'm wet. You got the action shot right there with the bacon? Oh, yes. There you course. go. <laughs> There you go, good one. Uh, Very nice. What's your name, bud? Hey. How's it going, man? I'm just like, hanging out, yeah. getting some breakfast. There you go. Look at this. You I walked I walked around the track like felt like three times looking yeah. for it. But, oh, uh, just went around? Yeah. I didn't read the ticket, it says it's in the fan activity zone. Oh. Go figure. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> well, that's what I get. There yeah. you go, man. Hey, you got your exercise for today. Yeah, right? <laughs> this means I can sit on my ass for the rest of the day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, breakfast potatoes. Of that right there. This is Mr. Videographer having a good time with breakfast right here. Guess <laughs> uh, okay, so other side's the same thing. So sit down and have food. A few minutes later. All right, so it's cold. It's very See, cold. I, I can deal with the cold. I can deal with the rain, but I can't deal with cold rain. Oh, this, this thing is messed is up. My jacket Look at is this. soaked. Look at this. See if you can get this on camera. Alright. Look, I've lost an arm. Alright. <laughs> I just wrung water out of the fucking sleeve. <laughs> it's cold and wet. Alright, I'm going to Mercedes. You're going to the grandstand? I'm going to the turn one tunnel, gonna go over the grandstands. Godspeed, my friend. Godspeed. You can come with if you want because I found a pretty neat trick. Alright, what's that? Hypothermia is a bitch. All right, so here's the current state of affairs, right? Oh, that's a little bit better. Okay, so here's the, so we are at the Fox 51 Lounge, where we are. Uh, uh, we're in the uh, we're somewhat in the trioval club. We are in the trioval club, which is somewhat, which is dry, and we have nice padded seats. And it's, um, it's a little warm up here. It's, it's, warm it's a bit warmer. It's a bit warmer. However. Um, well, right now there's two hours left to go in the race, and they've currently red flagged it because it's uh, a lot of standing water, it's very rainy. However, what has happened is that uh, I swapped the memory card, but I put in my old memory card, so I have two minutes of recording time left on this, uh, on this card, so there may not be much vlog left. Uh, so thank you for watching. Um, <laughs> it's been great, and uh, you know, please subscribe, perhaps. And uh, let me know if uh, you guys need anything from Finish Iron Factory. Any cool stuff. And um, peace out. Smash Later. that like button, bro. I'm, I'm taking that out. Alright.
What's up, everybody? So, driving home from Daytona. Um, yes, I'm holding the camera this time. New developments. Whoa. <laughs> so, uh, quick recap? Yes. Quick, quick recap, recap of Daytona? Um, so this is what happened after we left, and um, <laughs> see what happened. So, um, actually, I'm gonna move my seat up a little bit so I'm not kind of like gangster leaning over here holding the camera. So, um, pretty much it was, uh, so David went to bed because David has to drive. I don't, so I was able to stay up all night and watch race cars. So, I think you, you fucked off around one o'clock, right? Yeah, I, I went to sleep around, actually two. Right. Um, so, I said, all right, I'm going to go back to the grandstands uh, where we last were um, when he saw us last night. And I sat up there, um, section 444 for a little bit, and around 3 o'clock, temperature dro uh, came up, actually. It was actually warmer last night than it was during the day, believe it or not. Oh, nice. Um, and then 4 o'clock, 4.30, the rain started. And it's actually still raining, believe it or not. Um, so, middle of the night, few accidents. <clears throat> Had some incidents. Uh, the number three Corvette ran out of fuel last night in the middle of the night. Yes. Which was kind of interesting. Um, but, uh, it just, it started raining and started raining harder and harder and harder and harder. And I finally got back to the truck knocked on the window, woke Dave up, got into the truck, and it was about 6 in the morning when I came back? Yes, 5.58. Yep. Yeah, I was, uh, I was going man. for a very long time. Actually, I think I covered this in, the, in part of the vlog. Did you? Yeah. So this man woke me up at 5.58. He's lucky that I was like half asleep. I was kind of waking up at that point. And he comes in sopping wet. <laughs> and it's 50 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, it was very cold. Yes. So we woke up. You woke up this morning, went to go get breakfast. <clears throat> it was raining hard. I woke up, saw that it was raining hard, decided to wait a little bit until the rain had subsided, and um, I hopped out during a little bit of the intermittent and went back, and it started pouring like halfway between, you know, me getting to you, it started just fucking pouring, dude. It was so bad. And it's been pouring ever since. Uh, we walked back to the grandstands. We were soaking wet. Oh, yeah, the entire time. Freezing cold. Um, my pants are still wet. We've been in the car for about 30 minutes now with the heat on. My pants are still wet. Um... I mean, it was it was bad. It really was. <clears throat> the race was good. Yes, the race actually was kind of cool. The race was awesome. Great, great racing as always. That's what you expect from IMSA. Yeah. So um, where we where we left off, um, we were at the Trioval Lounge. Yes. Is that, yeah. And Lounge. Um, we were. It was about. Uh, we stayed until about an hour before the end of the race, and we were thinking. Um, okay, we're going to wait another half hour, see if they call the race, and if they don't call the race, then we'll just leave. Yeah. You know? If they don't call the race, we'll watch it. If they do call the race, we'll just leave. And at some point, like, three minutes pass, and I turn to Stuart, and I say, you know what, man? I am so miserable that, um, I don't care about watching the race anymore. Yeah. I just want to go home. Yeah, so we... We bugged out, and uh, funny enough, we get into the car, we get situated, had ourselves some snacks, dry shirts, um, all the good stuff, and uh, sure enough, they called the race. Uh, so we ended the race on a red flag with about 30 minutes to go. Um, so you probably already know, but if you don't keep up to date with Daytona or anything in IMSA, your winners for the 2019 24 Hours of Daytona are Konica Minolta Cadillac, Wayne Taylor Racing. Woo! Fernando Alonso has won the 24 Hours of Daytona. He is the third 
Formula One driver to do so. Um, LMP2, uh, Sebastian Saavedra, and Pastor Maldonado. <laughs> Pastor Maldonado is an LMP2 champion at the Daytona 24. Um, GTLM, my favorite class. How many times did Pastor crash? Oh, Pastor was involved in five incidents in the middle of the night. I watched four of them. Okay, now just, just be fair, how many were his fault? Two. Okay. Two. Um, and my favorite class, GTLM. Yes. Uh, BMW. Congratulations yeah. to Rahul Letterman BMW. Uh, if any of you guys are watching this, which I doubt you are, I'm very proud of you guys. Because I really like that car. And they've had so much trouble getting that thing to be reliable and getting it to be quick and competitive. I am very happy to see them win. That was very awesome. Yes. And Grisser Motorsports, I believe it is, with their Lamborghini Huracan, uh, won GT Daytona. So congratulations to them. Very, very awesome. Oh, nice. So, what was your favorite part of the race? What was, what was, okay, what was your favorite part of the race and your favorite moment of the weekend? Honestly, when we got up to the grandstands and we got into section 444 and you can see the entire track all at yeah. once. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. That was, that, that was, was the best Awesome. Part. That was the best part. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to agree with you there. Um, getting up into section 444 was awesome. Yes. Um especially like in the middle of the night you know with all the lights on and everything and uh i've just noticed that the lens is quite foggy deal with it yeah just deal with it i need to where's the glasses that come down deal with it um so yeah section 444 in the middle of the night here's the grand question let's do this in categories okay favorite sounding prototype i wasn't really paying attention to the prototypes so I already have an opinion. Really? Yeah. I was watching more of the GTLMs and GTD cars. Yeah. Well, I do have a favorite sounding prototype. Uh, the Acuras. Because the Acuras they have... They did sound good. They the Acuras good. have two-step. Really? When they, Did you hear them when they were in the pit box? You could actually hear them right as they were getting ready to drop the car going... That's what that sound was. Yes, they were two-stepping. Because <laughs> they're twin turbo V6s. Of course a Honda would be two-stepping. <laughs> uh, favorite sounding GTLM car. I think I know the answer. RSR. 911 RSR, yes. RSR. I'm a Corvette fanboy. But. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, those 911 RSRs are fantastic. And we get to hear more of them at Sebring, which is going to be awesome. Um, favorite sounding GT Daytona car? Um, GTD, GTD. Uh, this is a tough one. Because they all sound very, very nice. The Blue Account sounds great. Yeah, the Uracon sounds very good. So does the R8, because they're essentially the same car. The GT3Rs, I couldn't hear at all. Yeah, they're very quiet. They're, they're very quiet. Cars. They're very, very quiet, because they're GT3 spec. Yeah. Um, it's going to be surprising when you can when you can hear them. Yeah, the Uracon are already based on the same car, more or less. When you can hear them, the Lexus RCF. Ooh. Yes, they do sound I good. like how they sound. They're very throaty. Very burbly, and I like that. the The AMGs sounded oh, yes. awesome. Yes, they sounded so yes. good, so good. All right, and uh, since this is a fair YouTube channel, what was your least favorite moment of the weekend? Rain. <laughs> Rain. It's having Old. having to walk all the way from pit lane around and out of the track into the grandstands in the pouring rain, which was, uh, was my idea. Yeah. Uh, you, do you know what my least favorite moment was? Um. Thursday night? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, that wasn't really that bad. Thursday night? That was, that was. No, my, thir my Thursday night was off. Oh, yeah, mister, I'm going to kill a quarter <laughs> of a bottle of a quarter of a handle of Jack. Yes. <laughs> I started feeling it, Mr. Krabs. I started uh, I started feeling it. It was pretty bad. Um, and <laughs> it's waking him up with my shivering. David, I'm quite cold. 
And I'm like, we're in a car. Turn the engine on. Turn the heater on. This is yes. why I brought it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, you want to cut it off here? Yep, let's cut it off here. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys later. Peace. Peace.